What is up, all my beautiful people? Happy 2024. It is crazy that this is my first video of the new year and also showcasing my final haul of 2023. So I'm filming this a few hours before midnight. So I hope everybody had a very safe and, you know, happy holiday, a safe new year. Shout out to all of us like me that have to work today. Shout out to all of you that get to stay home and relax. I hope you guys had a great night. And let's start off 2024 off on the right foot. Let's get things back on track past the holidays. Let's get back to grinding. I want to wish everybody here, anybody watching, you guys mean the absolute world to me. Let's have the biggest 2024 we can. And let's just take things one day at a time. We're all in this together. So like I said, this was my final haul. I got this like two or three days ago, uh, right before uh, right before the weekend. I think uh, it was Thursday. I was able to get to the LCS and uh, just picked up a few back issues and uh, a few of my newer books. So to start off, shout out to everything in the ghost machine. And uh, you see my DJ links bookmark right there, but I got Geiger. I'm um, about halfway through this. This is absolutely fantastic. It's the whole first volume. I'm not gonna put them up there on Master Chief because it's gonna fall, but I've been picking that up, trying to fill in, catch up with that as everything go is going on with the ghost machine. And uh, as you can see, picked up issue number two of Geiger. Issue number one was amazing. And like I said, I'm reading the first volume, but this is ground zero taking the new arc. So if you're not reading anything, I definitely pick, recommend picking up a trade or something like that. It's definitely worth it. <clears throat> I have the 80 page giant special as well. I need to pick up some trades for like Redco and uh, I'm currently collecting Junkyard Joe as well. So I'm catching up on that universe. So I'm definitely invested. Next, uh, I love this book. Uh, it's sad to see, you know, Christmas is over, but I forget how many issues this is, but we're gonna see. But it's the Deviant issue number two. And excuse me if I still, my voice is kind of weird. I'm still, uh, I was sick the past couple days. I'm feeling better now, but I'm still a little, you know, kind of congested and stuff like that. But this is James Tinian, Deviant issue number two. <clears throat> like I said, uh, first issue was great. Uh, I can't say, if, you know, you like Christmas, you like holidays, you like serial killers, check it out. And uh, I will leave a note at the uh, end of this video, there'll be a little card here. Uh, it's going to go over my Sunday night sesh from yesterday. I just got done uh, recording that as well. Uh, my live stream I do every week. A bunch of us jumped on. We showed off our top 10 favorite things of the pickup of 2023. I'll leave that linked at the end. So make sure if you missed it, you go check it out. Next, we have G.I. Joe. This is issue with the legacy numbering 302. But for me, it's issue number two. First issue is great. I've never read G.I. Joe or, or been much into the figures or anything past the cartoon. It's really what I watched as a kid. But uh, issue number one was great. Uh, it's not dealing with the Energon universe besides uh, like Duke and Cobra Commander and stuff like that, Void Rivals. But I'm still going to read it. And uh, the artwork was dope, so I'm happy to have it. Uh, Spawn, issue number 348. Another cool cover. I am like, I'm a short box deep or like half a short box deep on comics right now. So I'm slowly catching up. You know, I've been reading a few issues a night here and there, but one of my big goals for the year is to definitely catch up on my reading. So Spawn is one of those books I need to catch up. I'm like three or four issues back. This, I'm just collecting for the Godzilla. It's a couple, uh, like the story's okay. The artwork's a little weird, but the covers are fire. But this is Godzilla War for Humanity, issue number three. And he's uh, on there battling. I love that. Love the old kind of Japanese style on there. <clears throat> you know me with uh, Monarch going on and uh, Godzilla minus one and uh, the new Godzilla stuff. I'm all in on collecting anything Godzilla. So hopefully I can secure that Godzilla slab I've been wanting. So next, these are some of the back issues I was talking about. Still, I haven't read any of the series, but I'm still collecting it until it's completed. But this is The Walking Dead Deluxe. And uh, this is issue number 67. I'm a fan of this TV show, but I've heard great things about the comic series, but I'm not a fan of the black and white. So I'm collecting the Walking Dead deluxe, you know, all colored versions. And then we have issue number 68. I actually have a whole short box or long box dedicated to them. It's one of the themed Walking Dead short boxes. And then uh, I guess I missed issue number 69. Shout out to that. But uh, issue number 70. So like I said, once I have the full run completed, I will start diving into that. I know I have so many books to read, but like I said, we'll get to it when we get to it. And then uh, apparently I missed these two, but I'm still on issue number 16 reading wise of this. But this is Ghost Rider. I know it just wrapped up at issue number 21 with the new art. Pretty sure uh, Johnny Blaze died or moved on, and I'm almost assuming that he's passing the torch to Talia. So this is one of my favorite Marvel books, but we got issue number 19. 
and then issue number 20. Just a little behind, but definitely one of the Marvel series I highly recommend if you're not reading. And uh, like I said, it just started in New York, so issue number 22 will be a great jumping on point. Collecting anything from this character, but I was pleasantly surprised with this first solo issue of his solo series, and this is Spider-Boy issue number two. And like I said, I was surprised with the first issue. It was actually pretty fun and good. So I'm going to continue this. And like I said, collecting anything Spider-Boy and covers like that when I see them. So we'll see how this goes. Curious to see where they go with it. I know uh, Kid Venom Origins and stuff's coming out. Another book that's been fire, uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson, been crushing it. And this is The Incredible Hawk, issue number seven. Slowly losing my voice, so we're gonna start wrapping it up and go a little slower. And uh, Master Chief just, uh, Spartan slapped that comic. I guess he was done with it. But testing a few new things. Uh, my girl got me this little holder for Christmas. So just trying things and uh, we'll see how it goes. Not, <laughs> I need to get like one of those wham stands or something like that. <clears throat> but before my voice totally goes out, last three books. This is another uh, Kong book, but uh, or Godzilla book, but Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong, issue number three. Absolutely a wild ride, so much fun, loving this book. I love how they're introducing the kaiju and stuff like that. And then another holiday book that uh, pleasantly surprised, and uh, Batman and Santa Claus, Silent Night. Issue number one was fantastic. You know, I got that Santa Peppermint uh, scratch and stiff cover, but I got issue number two. And then I know issue number four just came out, but then I did pick up this, I think this is a Songbird, I think this is on, or a Soundwave or, uh, can or Canary, I don't know, I'm bad at DC, but another dope cover. Is this a Zerdy? Uh, no, I'm not sure who did that cover, but it's a fire cover. Nonetheless, issue number three. And that's it. Like I said, that was my last haul for issue, or the 2023. I hope you guys are off to a great year. I am all over the place with it being New Year's and my stream, and I gotta get ready and go downtown and go to dinner with my girl. And I'm just all over the place and being sick, and excuse me for that. But like I said, hit the link. There'll be a pinned video at the end. Make sure you guys go check that out. If you wanna see kind of my goals or expectations video, I did drop that and talk about that on my Friday Positivity last week, so go check that out. But uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my content. I do got some exciting things I want to talk about coming up in the new year and some new kind of series I want to do. And uh, I'm ordering more stickers and more channel merch. So uh, like I said, if you haven't uh, got involved or got any stickers from me, once I get those in, reach out to me on Instagram and I'll get those out to everybody. So again, you guys are legendary. I love you guys to death. Your family, this community means the absolute world to me. I can't see what 2024 brings for us. So pumped for all the community members going to Heroes Con 2024. And this year, I don't know why, like I said, it's still 2023. But I'm gonna end my rambling. I'm gonna get out of here. Stay legendary. I love you guys to death. As always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Thank you.